Hi guys, and welcome back to Reads Readers with your host, Clinton. Read! I thought I'd start off this vlog by thanking you guys for joining us for the scooby doo us on We're super excited. Um, I can't wait. We've been like planning this for a while. And as you can see, I've got Black Pink playing in the background to hype me up. Still gotta figure out what song I'm gonna end this vlog with. Hmm. Do you guys like that, that I've been doing that in my videos? Comment down below and let me know where I've been like ending all my videos with song. Yeah, I'm super excited and I thought I'd go over my TBR thing as I have changed my Velma book and my Daphne book just to give y'all where we're all going with this because <laughs> when my Daphne book will uh, be a little spoiler for my haul for this month because I'm super excited to reread one of my favorite books so yeah so for Scooby-Doo I still got Riverdale the day before a prequel by whew, pardon me I've been like dancing McCall Ostaway for Shaggy read my best friend's favorite genre I'm still reading Scarlet and if I end up not liking this, I've got other options. For Thelma, though, I'm, I changed to Jacoby by William Ritter because I'm in the mood for a paranormal story. And he's based off of William Shakespeare because this is rumored to be Sherlock... Not William Shakespeare. Sir Leg Holmes meets Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So I'm super excited for that. I'm still buddy reading the Fred book with Emily. We're still buddy reading The Fault in Our Stars, which I am starting tomorrow. This will be my first read of the readathon. Might as well get the most crying out of the way. For Daphne, I finally got me a copy of one of my all-time favorite books so far this year. Probably going to be in my top five favorite books of all time. And I just really want to reread it So, because I read the arc earlier this year. And that is Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. And that cover is just stunning. Because I'm really into the aesthetic of, like, illustrated covers. And this is about what happens when the America's first son falls in love with the Prince of Wales. And it's fucking amazing. And I cannot wait to to reread this chunker which will probably be my second book after this because I feel like I need a hug after crying so and for Scrappy I'm still reading Perks of Being a Wallflower with Melissa from Night Fear I'm still worried about this one too because I know this one's gonna break my heart too so I'm doing Fault in Our Stars during this vlog and then next week's vlog I'm going to pick up Perks of Being a Wallflower I'm trying to separate the two crying. Unless I finish all my books and then I will pick this up. And lastly, for Mystery Machine, I am going to be reading Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantero. I've already got the audiobook, but I want to save this for the final week so, like, my thoughts and stuff will be fresh in my head. So, yes. So, that is my TBR for this vlog and next. Like I said, I am going to be starting with A Fault in Our Stars by John Green. I can read ahead if I so choose, but for the first day, I'm supposed to read 50-ish pages. Oh, that one doesn't end on a chapter, so hold on. I want one that ends on a chapter because I'm that type of person. So as long as I read the first five chapters which is 64 pages or up to chapter five i should be good but i'm off tomorrow so i might try to see how much of this i can get read i'm still watching gilmore girls i just finished the season finale episode partially to do with all my um, breathing issues i have right now because i've been hyperventilating crying because that show just hit me in all the feels but I'm about to start the, whatchamacallit, the spinoff four-part episodes. The four parts, like the 
each of the seasons. But I found that it's an hour and 32 minutes for the first episode, and I'm like, what? So I may finish those tonight. I may not. I don't know. But I will be starting this either tonight or tomorrow. I may just watch one episode of that, and tomorrow try to watch more. Or throughout this week or something, read a little bit more, or watch a little bit more in the living room, like an episode here and there. But yeah, I cannot wait to pick this up. Like I said, I'm so excited. What time is it? It's now 12 o'clock. Officially, it's the Scooby Doo Affair. And I cannot wait. So I'm going to cut this introduction off here because it's already five minutes and we all know I can talk forever. So I will check in with you, with you guys tomorrow when I've got either in the morning or when I've got some thoughts on a book. Okay? So I will check you out guys uh, later. Bye hey for guys. now. I have a reading update for you. Today is day one of scooby doo -a -thon. three minutes from midnight and I'm at a stopping point in my book I started the fault of our stars today I am on chapter 14 which is page 219 so I have like less than 100 pages left I am really enjoying it it is very sweet and honest but I know it's about to hit that part where it's about to punch me in the gut. So I will really, hopefully, finish this tomorrow. Besides this, I have finished all of Gilmore Girls and the little spinoff show. Cried for about an hour because of that. And now I've got to pick my next show. So I think I'm going to finish Brothers and Sisters because I've got three episodes left of that to watch. And then I don't know if I want to start Everwood. Felicity. Or the OC. Don't know which one I'm wanting more. But I will state. This plus Gilmore Girls is making me want a lot more romance books in my life. I made a new plate. I made a new wish list on Amazon. A majority of the books are romance books with similar cover vibes as this. Which, by the way, this is going to be my next book because this is really sweet. I need something equally sweet that won't, like, punch me in the gut. But yeah, I'm tired. I'm gonna get ready to go to bed because I got work at 10 in the morning so I will just check in with you guys tomorrow when I get off work so hopefully I will have read the rest of this there's only 313 pages I'm on page 219 so about with so there's roughly nine three pages left I think 93 96 something like that but I am really enjoying it and I'm so happy to finally pick it up now that I'm a contemporary reader it's so weird to say that well I get that I've always been a contemporary reader because I read mystery thrillers but I used to read a lot more paranormal and a lot more of fantasy than I have been lately, so. Huh. Enjoying. I will check in with you guys later. Well, talk to you tomorrow. Hi guys. Today is Tuesday the 3rd at 6.40. Just got home from work a little bit ago. Because I had stopped by the library and I stopped by Walmart. And then I finished up the last 20 pages I had of 
the fault in our stars and as you can see the mess that's happening right here i've been crying um five out of five stars that's all i gotta say any book that causes me to cry as much as this did deserves a five out of five stars if you don't know what this is about this is about hazel and augustus both living with cancer and their love story just simple as that that's all i'm gonna say uh like i said i will be picking up red white and royal blue here in a minute but I wanted to show you the four books that I got from the library. Even though I know. Stupid decision. I had two on hold. One I remember putting on hold. The other one... We'll find out what it's about together, okay? Um, first I have The Dragon Republic by R.F. Kuang. Book two to the Puppy War. I'm not going to tell you anything about it because I don't want to spoil. I may read this the same week that I read Curse of Dark and Lonely if I can squeeze this chunker of a book. Good God. 654 pages. Alright. Um, next. The other one I had on hold was Love and Other Curses by Michael Thomas Ford. I have no idea. I think a booktuber mentioned this. Not a hundred percent. Um. Drag Queens. We were cursed. If you can make it... Oh, if Sam can make it to his 17th birthday without falling in love, he'll be the first one in his family to escape the curse. Almost in a century, the curse doesn't kill the waywards, just the people they love. Now I remember why I got this. It sounds really interesting. I like the tagline of, Pretty sure I'm the only guy in my school who can replace a faculty kickdown switch. A faulty kickdown switch also create the perfect smoky eye it's a drag queen i was interested now i know why now like red white and royal blue i want some more rom-coms in my life so i saw these two sitting together and it made me think of chelsea from chelsea darling reads because they're two of her favorites first being the hating game by sally thorne and then flat share by beth o'leary Hating game is a hate to love, that's all I know. And flat share is about two people who share the same flat. They're renting the same flat, one during the day, one during the night, and they fall in love. That's all I know. So, these may get thrown in here and there when I feel like I might need a little bit more lovey, 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 lovey stuff. So, but that's all my update I have for you guys. I'm going to go relax in the cool air for a minute and then go make some food. And then I'm going to crack open one of my favorite books, Red, White, and Royal Blue. I cannot wait for more of this rom-com. This needs to be a movie is all I got to say. But yeah, I will talk with you guys later when I have more of an update. Hi guys. Today is the 4th, when it's September the 4th, a Wednesday at 7.50, and give you a little update, I just finished Red, White, and Royal Blue, my opinions of this have not changed, 5 stars, just 5 stars, but yeah, 5 stars, this is literally... A hug for those of us that hate where this American climate has, what has become of it. This is like the biggest hug I think I could ever hope for and thank Casey Mc and I thank Casey McQuiston for giving us this outlet of something like this to one day I hope the nation will become. Um, I don't necessarily know exactly what I'm going to... I think I'm going to 
start Riverdale the day before next. Here a little bit. I'll start it. I'm off tomorrow, so. It's only 271 pages. So I think I'm going to start this one next. And then after that, I'll either... I want to start one of these three. I'll probably either start Perks of Being a Wallflower or Scarlet next. After Riverdale. I don't know yet. But we're making good time. It's the third day of the readathon, and I've already finished book two. Book two. Book two, book two, book two. So, yeah. And my most chunky one. The one that made me the happiest. Yes. That is my update for you guys right now. I'm hungry, and I want to get out of these work clothes. And I want to go make me something to eat. Because all I've had to eat today is a pot pie. So, your boy's hungry. So, I will talk with you guys later when I have another update for you. Hi, guys. Bye. I'm going to try not to be too loud when I do this one. Um, today is the 5th, and now it's after midnight. 12, 12. Um, I'm going to do my little update on reading before I go to bed. Cause I'm kind of tired. Um, I started Riverdale the day before. Made it 36 pages in before I DNF'd it because this is way all over the place. And it's got to go. I never want to read it. I wish I would have done this before I took my books to the unhaul because it would have instantly been unhauled because it's going into an unhaul pile because it's got to go. But looked around my shelves or something that started with an R or an author that in, had an R in their name. So I decided to pick up Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reed. Which is one of those coming to terms with your life, the age of 29 stories. But it's supposed to be, she could go this path with Gabby or go this path with Ethan. Like her best friend and slash sister-like character should go this way. Or if she goes with a guy, what her life will be. Very intrigued. I'm only 16 pages in and I'm already hooked. So, and I love Taylor Jenkins reads, so... Yeah. I hate adding another, like, lengthier kind of novel to this, but Riverdale just had to go. But like I mentioned, I have sold some things to half price books. Got $11 for all those books that y'all saw me in a haul on my channel. But I purchased a book, and I wanted to show it to you guys. I got The Wedding Date by Jasmine Gullersy. This, I'm kind of in the mood for rom-coms, and this is a very much, could be a Netflix Lifetime movie kind of rom-com. Hallmark kind of. Those typical rom-com movies. Yes, it's a mass market. I've decided it was three nine nine. That's the only one they had. Decided if I like it, I'll get the book that's the size version of it and get the sequel. It's about a girl who meets a guy in an elevator and he asks her just to be a date to spontaneous. I don't remember to who. But yeah, it's like one of those fake dating tropes, so I'm kind of intrigued. So, and it's got a bottle on it, some wine glasses filled with soda. 
so you might see this in my Fall Winter reading a -thon. TBR slash contemporary song because main character is black. It's diverse from me. Just saying. But yeah, that's all the update I got. I'm gonna get off of here. I'm gonna read probably another chapter of this and go to bed. Day has been long. I may have been off, but <laughs> I tried all day to read this. It's just I'm a huge Riverdale fan, but this is all over the place. This is there is no no nothing to it right now. It's just you're going to this character, then you're bouncing to this character. Oh, and then you got a letter from this character. Oh, then you got text messages from this character, and you're bouncing over here, and you're bouncing. It's gotta go. I'm not even. Yeah, bye. Bye, look. Just bye. Yeah. So, I'm going to be reading this. And I will probably read this one this weekend. These might be the two that I read this weekend, hopefully. Or, I may pick up Scarlet instead of the, the Perks of Being a Wallflower to throw a little something different into my reading palette. I know Monday I'm starting meddling kids. I don't care. Listen to the audiobook and read along with it. You've not heard the audiobook sucks. I'm kind of scared for the group but now. You guys have me scared. But yeah, I'm gonna go read a little bit more before bed. Because I have work from like 10 to 6.30 and then Saturday from 7.45 to 4.15 is going to be a long weekend. And I gotta do my pre-order tomorrow for capturing the devil. Today is Saturday the 7th at 12.07. I did not update you yesterday because when I got home I read a little bit and then passed the fuck out. I ate and was watching some YouTube. As you can see Kayla from Books and Lala's thing. I finished my third book. I'm proud of myself. Three kind of thick books for seven days. I'm kind of proud of that. But I finished Maybe in Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book follows a girl who moves back home and then there's this option of she could either follow her best, go home with her best friend or go home with this guy. Let's just stay. I like to go home with the best friend storyline a little bit more. Both storylines got five stars. If the book actually like tells us both storylines and how they like add up and blah 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 blah, blah, blah you know. This is my third Taylor Jenkin Reads book. Oh god my hair. I fell asleep watching YouTube so meh. Um, this is my third Taylor's Jenkins Reid book, and my third five star for her. So I've got three more of hers after I do Forever Interrupted and Daisy Jones and the Sixth are my last three I have by her, so I'm going to get one of them soon, probably. So I could read that one and more five stars is all I gotta say. But last night I was hanging out with my coworkers and we went to Torque yet and both me and my boss both picked up the same book and that is Love at First Like by Hannah Oristine. 
we saw this cover and we were both instantly like, mm, that's our color aesthetic. Um, what is this about? Do you want to know what this is about, guys? Let me tell you. Eliza Roth and her sister Sophie co-own a jewelry shop in Brooklyn. One night after learning of an enga ex's engagement, Eliza accidentally posts a photo of herself wearing a diamond ring on that finger on her Instagram account, beloved by 100,000 followers. Sell skyrocket price rolls, press rolls in, and Eliza learns that her personal life is good for business. So instead of clearing up the misunderstanding, Eliza decides to continue the ruse and sets up, sets out to find a fake fiancé. Fellow entrepreneur Blake seems like the perfect match on paper. And in real life, he shows promise too. He would be perfect if only Eliza didn't feel so drawn to someone else. But Blake doesn't know about Eliza's scheme. The landlord hikes up the rent on the shop and Eliza's lie starts to spiral out of control. Eliza has a choice. She can either stay engaged online or fall in love in real life. And that just sounded like this perfect rom-com kind of movie. Which is what I'm wanting from books right now. I'm wanting to get into books like this. Kind of like Red, White, and Royal Blue. I'm wanting something that could come across as How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days or um, 10 Things I Hate About You. Movies like that, I'm wanting to find books and stuff that are like that. But I also don't mind throwing in books like Taylor's Jenkins Read, which are very realistic love stories. Because that's the type of movies that I like to watch. So I've been wondering, maybe I might like the books. And this just happens to be one of them. So, got this and I can't wait. And it looks so adorable. Like, it is so cute. And so I placed a pre-order for Capturing the Devil. That'll be here on Tuesday. But because of that, I had I added two other books so I could get it to the 25 and then I realized I could do Amazon Prime for free so I really didn't need to but I'm still gonna do that so that I can justify me actually doing these pre-orders does that make sense one of them came in today and there's a lovely gold Amazon package Ooh, you can see the book through I went ahead and cut it so that I wouldn't have to fight with it on thing. But it's another romance book. So it's the other one and y'all will like literally see me flip the fuck out when I get the other one. Oh, it's a little bumped. But because Chelsea from Chelsea Dolling Reads raves about this. And I've seen a, several other people talk about it too. I just had to have it. And that is Fixer Up by Tessa, D Tessa Bailey. Love wasn't in the blueprints. I, all I know is these four phases is all I'm going to read on the back to you because it's all I kind of want to know. Phase one, a new framework for her business. A website from this decade. Phase two, a gut reno on her wardrobe. Uh, wardrobe. FYI, leggings or pants. Phase three, updates to her exterior. Do people still wax? And phase four, put yourself on the market and stop crushing on Travis Ford. God, that's my, my brother's best friend. I just can't do that. I'm sorry, I just had to do those voices like that. But because of those, I know it's about Georgie and this. Oh, hold on. Not her best, her brother's best friend. That's a different book that I have on a list. 
There's a lot of similar press. But Travis Ford was a major league baseball hottie rookie when an injury ended his career. Now he's flipping houses to keep busy and trying to forget his glory days. Oh, yeah. And then him, there's Georgie, his best friend's sister, who is not a kid anymore. So, yeah. I am so fucking interested. It sounds so cute. But I've also heard the sex scenes are magnifique. And I feel like I haven't read a book in a while with some really, really good sex scenes that come with a really good storyline. Does that make sense, people? I mean, Red, White, and Royal Blue had some sex scenes. More fade to black sex scenes, in my opinion, because technically it was describing what was going on in their mind, not like the physical action itself. Self, which was kind of hotter than the actual act itself. As a gay man, I would love a man to think thoughts like that in his head while he's fucking me. Ooh. Sorry guys, sorry. <laughs> Not trying to get rated R here. But yeah, so I can't wait to get to this. This may make it on to my fell into reading. Don't know. Dippians. Because I have the hating game for yellow. And I feel like I should read that first. But this one may get red in between. Ooh. That's some big ass writing. Huh. Do. Yeah, 389 pages. So, two new ones. I hate when they do that. Why do paperbacks have to have two different sizes? But I will say, I'm loving the color aesthetics, so... And I'm thinking in November about getting a new one of those, like, cube organizers in white to put over there, to put all of these kinds of books on it, like, the Taylor Jenkins Read, like, all my romance can kind of go over there, like, all my adults, and some of my YA, eh, my YA may make its way over there, who knows, I may take, like, the black cubes and put them on either side of a white cubes in the middle. Who knows? But yeah, I got these and then I did a book outlet order which is I just purchased them so when that comes in I'll do an unboxing but there's two books in there that I am like I need in my life. One has to do with Audrey Hepburn. The other one has to do with Marilyn Monroe. In a fictional setting. And we all know. Marilyn's my girl. And Audrey Hepburn's my best friend's girl. Like. Saw them. And then like the third book in the series has to do with Grace Kelly. And the aesthetic. Oh. They're just beautiful covers. I can't wait for these books to come in. And oh. Girl. Oh. Y'all have no idea what's about to ha ha happen. But that's where I'm going to end it today. I don't know what I'm going to pick up next. I still have four books to read. Jackie B, Perks of Being a Wall of Flowers, Scarlet, and Meddling Kids. So, um, Jackie B may not get read because of Capturing the Devil. Come <laughs> into play, I will probably drop everything I'm reading and devour that. And that would count for a genius protagonist. Because of Thomas Cresswell. Just saying. <laughs> or even Audrey Ropes. But because it's... Oof. Actually, I just purchased the novella Becoming the Dark Prince. I might actually read that tonight before bed. If I do, I will give you my updates on that. 
because that's like the little novella you're supposed to read before capturing the devil, which y'all know. Stalking Jack the Ripper is like <laughs> one of my top two series right now. Diviners and Stalking Jack the Ripper are like, ugh, high up there. Well, y'all know it goes like How Hang a Witch and Killing November series, which is side by side. I consider them like the same. Then you've got the Diviners, then you've got, no. Nope. They could alternate. Those are my top three. Like, let's be honest. Is anything by Adriana Mather? Then you've got Diviners and and Carrie Maniscalco, just like all side by side. And Carrie Maniscalco just announced a new book to come out next year. And I'm like, I'm gonna pre-order it. I don't even need to know what it's about. But you mentioned witches. I'm like, what? What? But yeah, I'm a little hyper tonight. But I'm gonna go bed, and I will talk with you. I will end this vlog tomorrow tell you everything I read and I will start the next week's. Let's see ya. But I will talk with you in the morning. Deuces. Hi hey guys. It's Sunday. I thought I would um, wrap up the vlog. Tell you about my reading and get it yada. So last night I started and finished my fourth book for the readathon and that was Becoming the Dark Prince by Carrie Menescalco the novella for the Stalking Jack the Ripper series I wanted to prepare myself for After the Devil that comes out in two days um Stop Tuesday. Today is Sunday, so yeah, Tuesday. Um, it's really cute. It's basically from parts of the third book and Thomas's points of view and a little bit past that. Which it just reminded me how much I love Thomas and um Audrey Rose and five stars just five stars I think all four of these I gave five stars but let's go over my reading and then I got a package that I'm gonna unbox for you kids um and tell you what they all covered yada de yada first I finished Fault in Our Stars by John Green which I buddy read with my lovely co-host Emily, five out of five stars, freaking amazing, and this was for Fred, a book with blue and white on the cover. Next I reread Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. This one was for Daphne, a beautiful cover because it's just this, this is a beautiful cover. Yeah, and that would also count for Fred because it's got blue and white on the cover. Joking. But yes. Then I had started and DNF'd Riverdale, the prequel. This is going into an unhaul pile and never to be seen again. That one was originally for Scooby. But I switched it to maybe. And Another Life by Taylor Jenkins Reed. This was for Scooby Doo. Book. A book or author whose name starts with letter R. Her last name starts with an R. So, mm, it's a little hidden. It's a little, it's a little bending the rules. But hey, I'm a co host. I'm gonna allow it. Five out of five stars. Absolutely freaking loved it. And I was going to read Jacoby for it, but for Velma, I read Becoming the Dark Prince by Carrie Maniscalco. 
By the way, this is my laptop. It turns into a tablet, too. But this was to read a book with a genius protagonist. And this is all about Thomas Cresswell. And Thomas is a lot like Sherlock Holmes. Doesn't really get the full deal of emotions. And this literally explained all of his emotions. Highlighted stuff in this. Because he's just... Oh, I wonder... Like this line. I just I just have to read this line to you. This is the main reason why I wanted to highlight. I long to touch her. First her mind, then her heart, and finally her body. I wish to own every inch of space between us and fill it with each emotion. I'd ever suppressed or pretended away or pretended away. I wanted to strip my soul bare for only her to see and then to to do the same with my clothing, giving her everything I had of me. Scars it <laughs> Watch me. Scars and all. They're my main OTP. And if I can read Capturing the Devil, I'll throw that in as another Velma. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of Jacoby out of the readathon, which means I got these three left. I have the group read, which I'm starting tomorrow. It's kind of apprehensive because not ever. I don't think a single person has actually really enjoyed this this during this readathon. Emily didn't really like it, and neither did Simone, so I'm kind of scared. Just saying. And then I've got Perks to be the Wallflower, which I'm going to start here in a minute. And then I've got Scarlet. So those are my plans, at least these three books. If I can throw in Capturing the Devil, I freaking will. But I need to at least get through these three before I do that. So yeah. And then I received a package, which I told you guys, if you want to buy books, I anticipated to read the year. Okay. So, I thought I was going to have to pre-order this one in November. No one told me. Like, I never reread, looked it up to make sure. No one told me this book came out in March. I'm kind of pissed off at myself. But... Got in a badger way by Shelley Lawrence. Book two in the. Let me see if I can figure out the name of the series. In the Honey Badger Chronicles series. Oh, <laughs> okay. This follows the second sister. Dee Dee? No. Well, this at least follows the panda dude and the fucking love Shinle. And I cannot wait. Just, 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 just look at the sexiness of the cover. It's book two, two. Hot and badgered. So we've got book one, now I've got book two, and I cannot wait for book three. Just, just. Look at that. So good. But yeah. That's where I'm going to um, end this vlog at, guys. Um, I hope you guys love this vlog. Um, I don't... Yeah. Just hope you guys love this. I now can go update Goodreads, go update all my paperwork, and show the four things that I've read so far this, this, um, this week. So, I will talk with you guys later. Um, if you're new to this channel, hit that thumbs up. If you like what you see, 
Hit that subscribe, you'll see tons more like this. Hopefully my vlogs will get just a little bit better. But yeah, I will talk with you guys later. I remember kids, reading is what? Fundamental. Till next time. Bye.